He he's took that good, set. Man. He's yeah. always been good. Kind of uh, became a ghost for a while in the scene. Also, where did my controller just go? It was right here. I have a twist tie on it, so. And Nairo, I went game three last hit with. Oh, so frustrating. Because I got the ledge snap on him. Um, I just had to jump off and bear, but I buffered a roll on. Anyways, we have Nakat versus Nairo. These two titans of East Coast. These guys are probably the best in our region. Um, actually, there's like a definitive, like maybe top five in our region, but these guys are definitely a part of that. League of Legends, as I would say. Yo, guys, major heads up uh, for tournament attendance. Put something to distinguish your black Smash Bros. controller. Yes, to just please. Uh, from all the other ones. I got. I see you got that blue twist yeah, tie on. I have this twist tie on it, and I mean, it just got moved like three feet over. Otherwise, I would not have known which one was mine. All right, we're jumping right into game uh, one between Nakat <laughs> and Nairo. These guys have played quite often on the 3DS version. They've met quite a bit in Grand Finals, yep, Grand and Finals, and a lot of the locals. I'm sure they played plenty at Sky's Invitational. Oh yes, yes. Now, one of the keynote uh, things in this matchup for Ness is that he can heal himself through Robin's projectiles. So Robin can't be too reckless about throwing them out. All of her projectiles are energy based, so the cat can absorb a bulk of them. So she'll have to be he'll have to be really uh, careful. Yeah, the only projectiles she gets in this match are Levin Sword and Books. Damn that pressure. Okay, the cat is trying to give a lot of space to Nairo, make him come. Uh, right in and get punished by either a shield grab, just a spaced aerial. And uh, Ness does alarmingly well against these sword oh. characters. Oh! It made it look like uh, Nairo was going to come down with an aerial, but you know, that command grab, yep. so useful. That conditioning, man. One of the most fun parts about playing a command grab character. It's a player matchup, too. N uh, Nairo is going to know that the cat loves the shield. Oh! Yep. oh! Oh, no. Nairo tried to challenge that, but. <laughs> PK Thunder dose. Oh, and going out for the Nair. As his name suggests, oh. back air. Still Not no jump. He's going to have to. Wow, now we're going so deep. Wow. And another one. Wow, finally that'll kill. Was worried about the sailing on that, but. Reset it to nothing. Yeah. Oh, that's his jump. Wow, Nairo had no reason to challenge it after he uh, recognized that Nakat had that much time to aim. You saw how much Nakat respected his edge guard. He upbeat immediately yeah. in fear that he would get gimped. Ness's PK Thunder travels so much faster in this game, makes it a lot easier to get out of those tight offstage situations. Wow, gives himself the knockdown, not sure really why. Oh, that is combo percent right there. Oh, goes for the bait! I like that, the empty hop. The empty tomahawk. Hop. Naruto oh. aka Tomahawk. Naruto aka Tomahawk. <laughs> yep, that's not safe on block. Naruto so guessing. resilient. Yeah, I know. Just throwing the cat off, saying you can't land on the stage. The stage control is amazing right now. That Levin Sword up air could have been it right there. It's 78 damage. Nairo needs to keep in mind that even though he's building the cat's uh, percentage up, he needs to respect the back throw. Yes, he does. Look at that. The cat is fiending percent. right now, going for the cross-up rolls. He wants that throw badly. Look at that. He tried to roll behind him. Yeah, and that's like one of the biggest parts in the cat's game. You see him... Always, always go for that kill move. Super hard at kill percents. And, you know, you might think it's not safe, but once you play him, you're like, wow, this is so scary. I, yeah. I am so afraid of this kill move because I know this guy has no reservations about going for it. Keep in mind, this is the Ice Climbers main from Brawl. He knows how to get the... That was rap? so sad. Oh, my God, but he's what? living. Even with 91% of rage, that Robin able to live that... Yeah, that Nosferatu was brilliant uh, yeah, in place. I'm whiffed. surprised it hard. I'm surprised it whiffed. Maybe he oh. was still grab invincible. Oh my gosh! And that's not no, it that's either. stale. Yep. Nairo's expending all of his books for the sake of pressure. Oh my the goodness! The empty land. The so empty smart. land. So daring too at that percentage. Yep. And oh my god, is that no? Okay. Ness almost getting a taste of his own medicine. Nairo charging okay. that Thoron. Oh my goodness! Oh! The footsies right now. Got more rolls than a bakery right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and is oh, that it? That is it. Reads the jump. Wow. Intercepts with an up air. He knew that the cow was going to camp in the air. Yeah, since that up air hits all around Robin, it functions basically like a, an up air, forward air, and back air at the same time. <laughs> that was amazing coverage by Nairo. And the cat, not looking too stressed. He's like, all right, 
I fought this guy a million times. I know your habits. You yeah. know mine? Yeah. Just duke it out. And uh, I've got other characters. That's how you know they're comfortable. They're running it right back to Smashville. Yeah. Not even thinking about the counter pick. Nope. That means the cat knows he could have done it last game, and I yep. totally agree. It was definitely within reach for him. Wow. So a common tactic with Robin is to follow your fireball and go for the grab while they're stuck in shield stun. Yes, but absolutely. the cat, situationally aware, spot dodged it just as he was going for the grab. And it's so rough because L fire, I mean, uh, arc fire automatically detonates every time that you use it, unlike PK fire. So right. you can't dodge it when it's on your shield immediately. You have to wait for like for it to almost to expire. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice! <laughs> the cat stealing that one. Yep. Very the move in that. general demands respect. Yeah, it really does. We didn't see Nakat recover at all last game, but probably either saving it for the next match or just not trying to be too reckless with that at all. Because it's not worth it most of the time. It's very punishable. Oh, overcommits, overextends by throwing the arc fire out. Wow. Tries to be reverse to throw Nakat's uh, aim off, but the up air will cover both directions. Yeah, it hits all around Ness as well. Both of these characters kind of. Just hit everywhere with their up airs. Once again, the cat's gonna want that juicy grab for that bulk of percentage right there. Here we go, forward air. Oh, I was expecting a forward air. Yeah, down throw and air, still doing a, quite a bit of damage. Yeah. We saw before he's able to get uh, up air after forward air. So, I don't know, could have gotten a little more off that. The cat's trail with uh, PK Thunder is so good. It sets up for frame traps in case you air dodge it, he'll just blast himself away. Yeah, again, it moves so quickly in this game. Oh, it's such a great edge guard too. Ooh! Nair with the presence of mind, reading that air dodge through his shield, takes his Down jump. Tilt? Oh, oh, tech! Okay. I wouldn't expect less of Nairo, but the cat going off. Oh my goodness! This man is teching for days, but oh. no. Okay. Nairo going a little bit too deep. Nairo losing stock in the tech industry there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these two have played so many times that. You know, they know each other's character choices at this Inside point. Inside out, they even yeah. know each other's habits. <laughs> do you think Robin versus Ness is the ultimate in the metagame for these two? Or um, do you think that Nairo might switch and the cat may switch in response? I know that the cat will opt to stay Ness. He really feels comfortable with his kill choices in terms of grabbing and such. Mm -hmm. uh, Nairo, I know he feels comfortable with Dark Pit as well. Uh, he almost beat Nakat once when he pulled out his Dark Pit for the first time. Yes. Game 5, last hit. That's actually what I was thinking uh, for Nairo to switch to. Because Dark Pit has a lot of tools against Ness. Especially the Reflector versus his recovery and his projectiles. Right. And having a sword is really good against a character with stubby limbs like that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. Robin seemed to be working. The additional kill power is really useful. and something that Dark Pit kind of struggles with. Mm -hmm. But if you can cheese him out off the stage at 40, who cares? It just seems that Robin has to really go in to get that kill. As you notice in the first game, first stock, he went off. He maximized the punish when the cat had no jump. And he right. took the stock and the lead and was able to win off momentum from that. But I just feel like if Robin can't, can't get that early kill, she has no tool. She has no tools of beating Ness otherwise. Yeah, Because eventually Ness will wither away and just get that grab. Yes. Uh, the Robin's like one of the lightest characters in the game. Back throw is particularly scary to her. And yes. All right, Robin, I mean, uh, Nairo's sticking with her. And this is the winner's final, so he does have another game just in case banking on this character doesn't work. And the falling up air is so great. So little landing lag. Covers such a wide range. Combos. Oh, nice by Nairo using oh. not only a B reverse to escape, but then the command grab to beat yes. the gas shield. It's amazing, too, because usually the first person we see to take momentum is the one that usually wins. Yeah, this game is very dependent on who starts swinging it first. And these pl both of these players, too, just take maximum advantage of their momentum, pushing their strengths, pushing their uh, edge guards as well. Okay, Nairo content to just sit on this platform. He doesn't think the cat is going to full hop on there and grab him or anything. Nairo platform camping. Yep, getting a couple charges of uh, that Thoron going. It's at Arc Thunder now, which I have noticed is one of his preferred ways to use the move. Because mm -hmm. that follow-up is so dangerous. You yes. don't really want to waste the Thoron. If sometimes. you get caught in the hit stun for that, you might as well consider yourself taking like another 20%. Yep. Robin smash attacks and aerial so oh, strong. Oh, that's his jump, I believe. The cat recovering high. And even with the Levin Sword, not knocking him out. Oh, Nairo had the right uh, idea there, going for the grab. I love that B-reverse from Nairo. Just mixes up his landing so well. The cat trying to steal the pillar. But now that Nairo has the Levin Sword in his hands, 
Uh, I don't know if that counts towards time that it regenerates. I think you might need to get rid of it. And there it goes. One hit and it just disappears, I believe. Yep. And okay, Nairo trying to fade back onto the platform with Zare Dodge, but Nakat has noticed that Nairo's been liking that platform this game. I'm not really sure about Nairo's defensive options right here. He's playing it safe, but I feel like he was doing a much better when he was just pressing his strengths. Pressing his uh Oh the bear wow. taking out the first dog. Nairo sitting on a comfy lead, 71%. Noticing Nakat got a little hungry for the grab there. Okay, Arc Thunder, oh. no, grab Robin's range is so limited. Yeah. At least her grab range. Eleven, so it's pretty big. Wow. Yet yeah, I'm uh, not sure if Nakat meant to do back throw there, because now it's stale. Oh, and that knows for to command grab, but it also heals yourself. Definitely a nice little tricky move there. Mm -hmm. And four, only four uses. To oh, oh no, my the goodness! PK Thunder I don't know what Nak uh, Nairo was thinking. He was thinking, oh, I can air dodge into the ground and then shield right after. No, wait, I can't. You can't air dodge. <laughs> this is 2014. <laughs> Okay, dropping that pillar, but the cat just respecting it, waits for it to go away, and now Nairo's back on the platform, comes down and immediately gets grabbed. Oh my goodness, 27%. And just like that, it's even the conversion from a down tilt. He down tilted once, confirmed a trip, and ran in for a grab. And the cat really wanted to take that one all the way. That is extensive knowledge of your own character right there, to believe in a slight percentage that your down tilt will trip. I don't know uh, if that's character knowledge or uh, just a very smart gamble, but... <laughs> I guess both. Definitely both. It's a feel for your character. Okay, sends out the Arc Thunder. Nice. Oh, the, the shield right pressure. After. I like that. That was very smart. But Naro pushing the cat off. But the great thing about Smashville is that even when you're edge guarded off, you can go on the platform to reset yourself. Went for the second, no or uh, not the second Nosferatu, another Nosferatu. Didn't work out. He's got no charge on his Thunder spell, which is going to be instrumental oh. in building his comeback. Wow, B yeah. versus cancels and rolls. That movement by Nairo. Yeah, making himself as tricky to catch oh. as possible, and that's it. Okay, the cat taking a victory swig of water there. Two Those one. back throws, at the end of the day, that's all you see. And that's what's clutching it out for the cat right now. He's able to get these grabs, seal the stock, because he knows that Nairo's going to commit to something, a dash grab, dash attack, at the end of the day. I think it might be in Nairo's best interest to switch Dark Pit, but he seems insistent on playing Ni or, uh, Robin. He's confident. And I can appreciate that. Okay, it looks like Ness really does have the upper hand in this matchup. He's just so, so wiggly and Definitely. Uh, and hard to catch. And most of uh, her projectiles are oh. rendered. No! Oh, oh my he goodness! Saved him. She, uh, he was going for the first hit of spike off that L wind. The cat still has not touched the ground. If Nairo can keep this, up, oh, oh. The platform getting in. His nice way. fade away and fade in by the cat, tricking Nairo. Nairo kind of hanging his head. In. After that one, almost took it all away, but not quite. It's crucial that you do take your advantages, um, edge guards against Ness, very seriously. Yes. If, it's if you very miss, exploitable. yeah. Once he loses that jump, you have to go all in. Yeah, all that wind-up time on the PK fire or PK thunder, but you got to remember to respect it anyway. Yes. Because if he has more than a couple frames to himself, all of a sudden it's like this huge death bullet move coming at you. And nice PK fire, giving him a taste. Of that what it's like. That short combination will even up the game. Wow, and neutral air getting right in there. Nairo extending this uh, into a lead. Oh, I like the coverage. He knew that the Levin Sword was coming out. Yes. Oh no. Nairo pinned on the ledge right now. The cat, I know he's, this is the prime time for him to be looking for that back throw. Right, and also just discouraging Nairo from staying on that platform by harassing him with a mixture of up air and up B. Nairo knows the cat wants his grab, so he's just opting to stay on the ledge, on the platform rather. Oh! Almost! That pressure string! Yeah. Oh my goodness! Instead of going for the grab, he knew the cat was going to spot dodge, so he threw out the second wave of pressure. Or at least that he was just going to stay in shield. Right. Robin's spells have great lockdown. She's like a Marvel character. She like. slowly pushes you towards the edge of the stage. Yeah. Edge of the stage, sorry. Yep. Oh, oh no, is that it? Almost. Okay, runs off the platform. Nice oh. tricky movement from Nairo, but is that enough? Wow. No. The death spark coming up, but no kill confirmed. Wow. Oh, oh, he reads the air dodge, jumps up. He knows the cat's going to take that defensive option. 
Great presence of mind. Holy crap, that read was phenomenal. Yeah, that was that two steps ahead because Nakat was like, oh, I know Nairo's going to swing, and Nairo's like, I know, I know you know. I'm going to swing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and wow, a fair killing. I had zero, too. That's well, it was at the very edge of the stage with um, both of them on the Smashville platform. Can't even blame Rage for that one. No, he was at 0%. Oh, and still is. That was a flub by Nakat, but Nairo just respected it too much. Believe that Nakat actually had spaced it correctly. Oh, I thought Nairo was certainly going to run off that platform and go for the Nosferatu. Instead, he went for the Bronze Sword Fair and another one. I don't know why he's been using the Bronze Sword. Uh, maybe because at low percents, that might yield some pombos. I love how Nakat counteracts um, Nairo's L fire pressure with his own PK fire. Yep. Uh, you know what? I want to see Nakat start swinging the bat at Robin's projectiles. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Both of them throwing uh, fire at each other, um, like DBZ. It's yeah. like a battle of like the Kamehameha waves. Oh, he caught the book. Who said oh. reading's lame? Oh my goodness, that book did so much percent. Yeah, it does like 18, 14, something like that. A book? Yeah. Yo. A book does more than the actual fire. Reading rainbow. <laughs> Okay, smart by Nakat, knowing Nairo is going to try to chance his double jump for that. Oh, wow, <laughs> excellent maneuvering by Nairo. Yeah, I like that swinging the neutral air to try to cancel out the PK Thunder. That micro spacing, he really wants to avoid that additional percent. PK Thunder really adds up. Is that it? No. Oh, wow. I think Ness's back throw might have gotten a little bit toned down from earlier 3DS builds, and that's it. 3-1 for Nakat with the up air. Oh, wow. The wow. cat showing uh, resilience, dominance, just keeping it calm. Yeah, getting man. Getting those throws when it mattered.